<laughs> so, um, thank you, Sarah, for allowing us to cancel that one time. And thank you for coming back this week. Please welcome Sarah Donnelly and Minnie's Auto Care.
the biggest thing for many is that we're here for the underserved is a word I don't really like to use, but that's the idea. 80% of auto repair requests are made by females yearly. That leaves 20% 20 of, 20 of that for men, and if 1.4% of the mechanics are women, that leaves, what, 98.6% are men? So the balance is very off. So our biggest goal is to write the balance. Uh, we're not the first people doing this, obviously, but we are the first people in South Carolina. So, first female owned and operated shop in uh, Columbia, but in the greater South Carolina area. As far as I know, I can be corrected. So, that's our biggest thing. We do it for the girls. So, um, we do have men. We don't, we don't hate men. That's not the goal. <laughs> One of the guys in the shop actually has 35 years of experience. He's a great mechanic, and he works really well with women. It's awesome. Um, but our girls do a lot of the work as well. Um, our service writers are female. These are some pictures from our classes um, teaching ladies how to check their oil, how to check their tire pressure, teaching girls how to check their oil pressure and tires and changing their tires and that sort of thing. Because if a girl can change her tire, believe me, it changes a lot of things. If you can have the confidence that I know enough about my car to tell you my oil is low and I know it's low, it changes the entire way you approach a auto professional, whether that's in an auto parts store or a auto shop. I think it works for this morning. Okay. Um, that's pretty much okay, it's apparently not the end of my presentation. I always forget half of my stuff. Okay. Um, our main point, local. We are very locally owned, family owned. Um, actually my aunt and uncle own our shop. Um, we actually own two shops. My uncle owns Mickey's Auto Repair, and my aunt actually owns Minnie's Auto Repair. My aunt's actually here today. Um, I'm going to call her out there. Um, so, locally owned, basically all everybody spent years back in the community. That sort of thing. Um, comfortable is really big for us. Our comfortability uh, mindset. So, our biggest thing is to make sure our lobby looks like your living room, or better than your living room. Early. These are actually pictures of our lobby. So the biggest thing for us is making sure you're not, you don't feel like you're in a greasy auto shop. Um, there's a lot of people come in, they're like, wow, the girls must run the front here, the guys run the back. And I'm like, actually, we run all of it. So <laughs> um, woman owned and operated, um, but our foundations are in trustworthiness and honesty, integrity and honesty. The biggest thing for us is that we come to you as your neighbor, not as your uh, chain auto shop. So, independent auto shops have a hard time sometimes uh, marketing to people, but that's where we start. We start with our integrity and our honesty, and on top of that, our focus is in the education side of it. So, being able to talk with the women about their cars, about what's going on. I showed a customer the other day, actually, how to check for oil because she came in with no oil. And she told me her oil light came on, she checked it a month later. And I was like, okay, we have a problem here. So I, I asked her, because I was kind of wary about the situation, she had told me she brought her to a mall, and so they checked it out over there, and I was like, do you know how to check your oil? She's like, I think I've watched somebody do it once. Okay. She's like, come on. So we go out and we check her oil. Um, and she was 19, but that's a big thing. It's like younger girls need to know the smallest part smallest parts of auto care. So that's where our story originates. Um, our story is still being written. Um, we are actually only just under two, uh, three months into this. So we are ramping up our focus and our community involvement sessions. Um, I always try to include her in anything I do because she is one of our biggest inspirations. Uh, she hangs on our wall. She's a huge um, Why not? marking pieces of the right word for it, but she's iconic to you all. I'll let me thank everybody for having me today. I don't talk